Liverpool beaten 2 0 then by uh, by Blackpool. What's the verdict? I think, being totally honest, we were beaten by a better team with very good players in it. Um, but my disappointment was they didn't, or for my what I was watching at least, I didn't think there was much in the game really. See the poor goal. Shouldn't have been a restart when it occurred. The referee should have let Tamisha get back in. Didn't. They were a bit happened after it, but I would have preferred to let Tamisha get back in. The sort of fourth official says, "Yeah, you're right." But it's like, well, what happens? Nothing. Um, and after that, I think we often puffed a little bit in that second half, in a couple of periods, but not not a lot. Um, and obviously, then concede a, a second goal, so game over. Um, I just feel that the goal knocks us. It looks like it takes belief out of some of the the players, which I'm not accepting of. As in, I've said that the fans here are, are great. In they keep behind the players. I've said it when I was here last time. It's an it's kind of a nice place to play for a home player. You know, I'm sure there'll be all the odd comment or whatever, as you're always going to get. But they don't get on your back. So that, so that shouldn't knock confidence. So keep wanting the ball, keep committed. But that's the other word was that I've used. I don't feel that we commit to everything involved in the game. And that was maybe summed up a little bit. I know it ended up being uh, offside. But when Dan has his chance and heads it and the keeper tips it over, they can't, they can't have a ball in a box from a corner their player swings and misses it, it bounces, they still get the next touch to it. That's impossible. And that's just an, that's kind of an example of that being committed, running in at goal. Their lad scores a second goal because he's on the move, he's wanting to go and score the goal. And there's too many situations in the game where we... And it's not as in bad attitude, it's just that being willing to be on the front foot for me. And I think we... We kind of almost dip his toe a little bit rather than jumping in there. And that's what I'm, I want to see from us moving forward. We've got to be more aggressive, full stop as a team as well, um, if we are going to get the results that we want. And you've had it hard to, to work goalkeepers, haven't you, these, these last couple of games yep. today and Little Lincoln? That must be a concern. A bit. Um, I've seen that they can do it. So I think Lincoln whether I like it or not, was one of those nights. I don't think that that performance today was of the same ilk, personally. Um, but in terms of his attempts at goal, etc., I think we did. We have seven, I think I just saw. Uh, I thought we had a couple of half chances, but admittedly not. But I don't think they had too many. That That's the frustrating thing. It's like they got their opportunity to punish, and then it was... You know, Harry's med. The best save Harry med was when it was offside for them, and then the other things he did pretty well. But I think he'd admit himself were relatively comfortable, and that's the frustration. You know, they had a bit more control, but again, with the players that they have, I think we or that's no sort of major surprise. Um, but as I said, I just want us to be more committed and understanding of, you know, if the ball's going longer, you've got to get on the move. It's no point getting on the move once the ball's up in the air and you start looking at it. That's too late. You're always going to, and we were like a yard sort of late on a lot of things today. And you tweaked things tactically uh, today, going for yeah. with, with with the three three at the back for the first time since you've been back yeah. at the club. How did that play out, and what was the thinking behind it? Um, I think thinking behind it was Jason's played once when he came on at Reading, as in for me, and I think a lot in terms of that two centre backs just felt with their system as well and Dembele how he the areas he picks up we negated that for quite a bit but then you see the moments he does get on it all of a sudden you know he's one of he's got to be one of the best players in the league in terms of that so he wanted that security in there it kind of just lent itself probably what we didn't get is too much going the other way I thought like I said without the ball we were okay to a point, but it was hard to get sort of the pressure on them. But we looked, in general, like I said, to my eyes at least, secure for the most of the the time that we were playing it. We tra we changed it to two, two up front second half. Didn't really like that, if I'm honest. So you know, I'll take that one on the chin, and then we went back to 
we you know I guess what's been more uh, the go-to uh, formation. And again, tiny bits, but not not enough. You enter the last ten games of the season. Now it, it's getting closer, tighter at the, the wrong end of the table. How do you see it with with ten games to go and clearly a, an important game, a key game, you could say, at Port Vale next weekend. Exactly what you said, Tank. Uh, no surprise. You know that's what I will say. I'm not I'm not stood here thinking. Uh, oh, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, you know that that's the the brutal truth. Uh, however, we can get out of it. Well, get out of it. We're above it at the minute, but we we, we can do enough to be a League One team next season. However, there's got to be an element, like I said, of belief and commitment. And I don't mean commitment as in going on the pitch and running around, but I mean committing to the situations as we just discussed and being sort of that whether it's deemed aggressive, whether it's being forward thinking, understanding the situations on the front foot more for, to make things happen. You know, we talk about trying to, to score a goal. If you, you know, I, I watched some of our lads, we had a corner and they go in the box and they stand next to a defender and don't move. Now, unless you're six foot six and it lands perfectly on your head, and even then I dare say you're probably not going to score too often. Like I say, I go back to there, I know it wasn't a corner, but go back to their lad scoring. He's arriving to meet the ball. We've got to have more of that. You know, Shea's an obvious one who does that. He moves, he runs, and he gets his head on a lot of things for us. We've got to have more than that. Because you don't have to be a giant then suddenly to have got in front of a man or behind a man or in between someone by being on the move, not standing and, and waiting for something to happen. Thanks for your time, Paul. Cheers, sir.